We bought this place three years ago. Um, we've kind of reclaimed all the horse pasture into uh, vegetable gardens and um, growing everything, you know, far beyond organics and, and bettering our soils. Um, that was our goal three years ago. We've, we've kind of fulfilled that goal. And, um, and now we're moving on and, and, and moving on to bigger things as far as more of a community, a community project. Yeah, yeah, it's been a pretty natural kind of organic flow, um, learning about reclaiming for the vegetables and everything. And now we're ready to move on and reclaim the rest of it and do uh, some permaculture projects, get some um, uh, orchards going on and uh, some food for us and really start planning for five, 10, 25 years down the road. You know, in working with, uh, with our permaculturist Brandy Hall at Shades of Green, um, she's She's got an amazing plan for this for this property, and what that's going to allow us to do is is teach the community about permaculture, and it's going to allow for spaces such as farm to table dinners, um, events that we can we can hold classes, um, and more so, you know, it's going to allow to raise awareness and getting our hands dirty. Yeah, and getting their hands dirty. They're going to get to come out. They're going to get to dig holes. They're going to get to plant trees. Um, they're going to get to be a part of it. Classes, uh, field trips, uh, you know, kids all the way to adults, everybody's learning this. And uh, it's a great thing to get back to. Um, this is the way they did it way back in the day, and it's the way that's natural. And uh, it's really what we're trying to push forward and get big in this community. This Kickstarter is going to allow us uh, to do that. And um, we, we really appreciate anyone who can who could donate any any amount of money um, to the uh, to the Kickstarter program? My husband and I were very excited to know that we had a local um, organic farm where you could purchase CSAs, worker shares, or purchase them. And uh, we're only nine tenths away from the farm, so it was a no-brainer for us to come and get involved with such a wonderful project where we would have organically grown food at a very good cost. A lot of people like him, he's a full-time builder, Barry, and uh, he doesn't have time to farm himself or have a, an organic farm. So it's really good for him to be able to work out here and uh, bring a little bit of organic produce back to his family. So come out, get involved, get your hands dirty, and eat some wonderful food. It can only be good for you. We think we can really change things up here yep. and uh, at least, you know, plant a seed, if you will, in the kids so down the road they'll know what real farming is. And when somebody says they want to put, you know, a GMO seed in the ground or want to put poison on their crops to make them grow better, they'll think twice because um, hopefully they've been out here to see how we do it and they know there is a different way. Um, right now we're just not in a, in a good enough position. We don't have enough. Um, uh, demo gardens to show the kids and enough learning space to show the kids um, how to how to actually do this and um, it, it makes it easier on us so this uh, this funding will really really help us bring all this into fruition and and uh, I think just raise awareness in this county and um, we want it to be a beautiful space where people this is going to be a really great opportunity for us to not only better this farm but uh, better our future so we, uh, we thank you